Hey guys, if you know you want, and I'm talking about Dying Light 2. Why? Because it's been delayed. Yeah, that's right. Another game has been delayed. And this goes beyond just Dying Light 2's delay because apparently it's being delayed for the same reason the other ones. They basically just need more time to get the game where they actually want it to be. But here's the thing. Remember how people say learn from your mistakes? Well, you know what's better? Learning from other people's mistakes. And it seems like all these game companies are now learning from Bethesda's mistakes in releasing Fallout 76 and then trying to kind of fix it later. I mean, look at all these AAA games that are getting delayed. At least five now from major companies have been announced to be delayed this year. So it seems like these game companies actually learned from Bethesda's mistakes and were like, yeah, we need to delay our games so that they can actually be fully ready before we bring them out. But here's a little scary thought. Does that mean that if Bethesda, like Fallout 76, let's say it was successful and people didn't care that Bethesda basically had to fix it later with patches or whatnot, right? Does that mean these games would have released slightly like unfinished or at, at least like with glitches and stuff and then they would have just fixed them with patches like later on? It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because the fact that all these delays are happening this year kind of maybe says that the companies were initially going to be like, yeah, we're releasing them. Oh, wait a minute. Look what happened with Fallout 76. Okay, okay, guys, delay. We need to actually finish these games to the level where we're actually ready to release them before we release them. I, I just feel like, even if that's the case, it's just good. This is all good for the gaming industry. It's good that game companies seemingly now are like, we're actually going to delay the games instead of just release them and then fix them with a bunch of patches later on. And I'm all for it. If they got to delay it, I'd rather delay and come a much more complete project than have it released and they have to finish it up later on, basically, with patches and whatnot. But what do you guys think about this next AAA game being delayed? And how many more AAA games do you think may get delayed just this year alone? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.